today's October the 4th, and man, it's hot. They said it was going to be 89 degrees today, but I believe it's, I believe it's better. That little breeze feels good. We've got rain coming in. I believe that's why it's so hot. Here in Mississippi, man, before it rains, it gets humid, sticky hot, and that's what it is today. Um, but it got rain coming in tonight and maybe possibly tomorrow. So, I got a feeling these deer are going to move before that rain comes in. I'm hunting the same spot that I was hunting Tuesday afternoon and shot that doe and couldn't find her. But I moved 80 yards down the field because all the deer went out and fed right out in front of me. And they sat out there for about 15 or 20 minutes. And if I'd have been sitting in this spot, I could have busted one. So maybe this afternoon they'll slip in here, feed on them beans, and we'll put the old slick trick through the rib cage. Let's see what happens.
Okay, folks, that's the shot right there. That's where the deer was standing. There's my arrow soaked in blood and leaving on the backside of this soybean. Look here. My arrow soaked. I think it's going to be a good blood trail. Let me get on it and I'll get back with you. Big old doe. Look at that. Big old doe. Bugs party. Mosquitoes and everything. Slick trick. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get set up real quick. Well, I don't have my tripod. I run off and left it. I was in a hurry to get over here and hang a stand. Looks like my game plan came through. I had them figured out today. Thank you, Lord. I'm so thankful for this deer. Uh, this is groceries to the Merritt family, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, we eat this stuff right here. You know, I saw a post on Facebook a while back where somebody wrote an article in the paper and it said, shame on you hunters. They said, you ought to go to the grocery store and buy your meat where it's made. <sighs> Come on now, really? God made these creatures. And you know, if you go to the grocery store, that animal that you purchase, that meat that you purchase, it was slaughtered somewhere. Now this wasn't slaughtered, it was just uh, a hole was poked in it and it didn't go far and it died. Uh, so let's just get real about that, okay? Uh, but God bless you all. Thank you all for watching so much. And as excited as I am about this dough and, and putting one down October 5th, and I'm so thankful to the Lord God above, my Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ, uh, I'm more excited than about kill about the Lord Jesus than I am about being able to kill a deer. Even though I like it, God's been good to this old boy right here. Thank you all for watching. God bless. Until next time. Thank you for all, all the subscriptions, all the comments. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. God bless you. Now, I don't want to sound like a... I'm trying to do a commercial here. But if it works, hey, it works, man. On the other video, when I actually recovered this doe, there was mosquitoes all over it. I mean, covered. And two big old horse flies. And look, I laid the thermocell on top of the doe. Went and got my four-wheeler and come back. They ain't even nowhere around. Thermocell done run them off. They skedaddled because a thermocell is the bomb. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Hey, like I said, I'm not trying to make no commercial here, but if it works, it works. If you don't have a thermocell, get you one.